Hello everyone, this is Ayash and welcome to this physics tutorial on uh, Schrodinger's equation. You see Schrodinger's equation everywhere in quantum mechanics, but this equation has a classical knowledge basis that uh, we are going to take a look at it in this video. Let's start with the Einstein's uh, famous equation on energy and matter, and let's also keep in mind the uh, Planck's theory on energy of quantum systems, which uh, suggests that uh, the energy of quantum systems is quantified and discrete. Uh, this helps us to rewrite the equation for lambda or wavelength of quantum systems as you can see here. In 1923, De Broglie uh, formulated uh, that uh, the momentum of a quantum system uh, is related to the wavelength of the quantum system uh, based on uh, Planck's constant as you can see here. Uh, before diving into quantum mechanics, let's, let's take a look at uh, classical wave equation, uh, which helps us to understand the uh, knowledge basis of quantum mechanics a little bit better. You can identify the uh, wave equation of a classical system or a uh, harmonic oscillator uh, with sinus or cosinus uh, functions. You can generalize the idea by using uh, exponential function. Uh, and you can write the uh, uh, wave function of uh, a classical system as you can see here. Here A is calculated based on initial conditions and boundary conditions of the system. Schrodinger used a classical uh, wave equation in order to write his uh, quantum uh, wave equation. Uh, he used quantum counterparts of the classical uh, concepts and uh, replaced k with p as a momentum and omega the uh, frequency of the system with energy of the system. The total energy of the system is uh, calculated by uh, summing the uh, kinetic and the potential energy of the system. Uh, we also can write the uh, kinetic energy of the system based on uh, momentum of the system as you can see here. Apparently, Schrodinger uh, multiplied uh, both sides of the uh, energy of the system's equation uh, with uh, wave function and uh, reached to the uh, uh, Schrodinger's uh, time independent uh, equation. Now, let's talk about time dependent Schrodinger's equation. In order to do that, uh, we start with the derivatives of wave function. Uh, on uh, uh, displacement. As you can see here, uh, uh, the uh, De Broglie's equation uh, has been used in order to rewrite the uh, uh, derivative of the wave function and uh, the uh, result is the momentum operator uh, in quantum mechanics. We can also uh, calculate the uh, partial differential of wave function uh, on time and uh, this uh, will eventually help us to calculate the energy operator of the system. Displacement uh, operator is its own self as you can see here. Now let's assume that the Hamiltonian of the system is only consistent of uh, the kinetic part. Uh, we can use this uh, Hamiltonian in order to rewrite the uh, time independent Schrodinger's equation. Uh, by doing so, uh, we have uh, the kinetic energy based on uh, momentum of the system and uh, we can use the uh, uh, momentum's uh, operator in order to rewrite the equation. By cancelling out the uh, wave function uh, from both sides, uh, we can write the energy operator based on displacement operator. Again, this might not be a good idea in um, mathematics, but in physics, uh, it's quite a bit normal. So uh, we can uh, say for sure that the energy uh, operator could be uh, written uh, as follows. Now let's cycle back to the uh, classic uh, to the time-independent Schrodinger's equation. Uh, as uh, you would remember, uh, the Hamiltonian of the system was uh, related to the energy of the system. Uh, by using uh, those uh, concepts, uh, you can rewrite the uh, Schrodinger's equation and the uh, final result, as you can see, 
uh, is uh, mentioned here 